It's game three, baby. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and guess what? Yo, what is going on in the villa, man? But at the end of the video, there's a clip from the game. Make sure you check it out. That's the time scramble, man. And here's the video. Welcome, everybody. <clears throat> Welcome everybody to game two of the tournament, man. And, or no, I'm tripping. Game three, game two got corrupted and the footage didn't save, but I ended up losing that game two to like a 60 year old man who's been playing chess for 55 years. So I still should have won that game. Not gonna lie to you, should have won that game, but we gonna move past that. This game is against my bro, my friend, Kobe. And this game's crazy. This game's crazy. So you gotta stay tuned. We're gonna do an analysis after, but let's go. As of now, I'm 0-2 in the tournament. He lost a game and he drew a game. So let's get into it. I play E4. My opponent plays the Carl Kahn. And instead of playing the exchange like I did in the last video, I decide to play the tall. Now I trade off the light square bishops. He shuts it down and I play F4. I'm playing aggressive this game. I don't care. I know I need to get after it. I need to get a dub. He develops a knight. I develop my knight. Now he jumps his knight in. And I develop my bishop. I'm not really tripping if he takes because i'll take i have this dark square blockade so i'm not really tripping he pushes and i develop my other knight and i play rook to g1 which is a complete blunder of a pawn knight takes knight takes uh, queen takes so he takes and instead of taking back and just letting his queen get active i decide to castle now he jumps back and now i'm like you know what i do want to save my bishop i'm down a pawn i see some possibility of g4 bishop out pinning the knight to the queen my opponent plays c5 and now i lash out with g4 i'm trying to get active i'm trying to get activated he jumps the knight back i jump the bishop into the business pinning it now he takes i take back and he steps his queen up i slide my rook over just to add extra protection here because i want to push this pawn i want to push f5 but i need to hold on to this pawn first he jumps his knight in attacking it twice so i slide my knight to the side Defending it and as you can see by the eval it's not good because he has knight to b4 hitting my queen and he has some nonsense and threatening this so that's what he should have played instead he decides to take my knight i take back and now he drops the bishop back attacking it again now i just drop my bishop back attacking it he plays a6 and that allows me to play f5 and get an attack going he takes i take now i'm winning he castles and i am slaughtering I am slaughtering here. Queen g3 is killer. Queen g3 is motherfucking killer. And I don't know why I played it. Instead, I played queen to d2. Thinking I could take this pawn, but I had horizontal blindness. Horizontal blindness like a motherfucker. He slides the rook over to e8, and I push f6. Trying to just threaten stuff. My opponent takes the pawn. Y'all, I can't believe this game went like this. This is... We started getting a little low on time. I take the pawn. He slides the king over. Now, nah, okay, y'all. I thought I had crazy, crazy brilliance. I said, take my rook, fool. You have to take. It's the only legal move. He has to take. He can't run. And I thought I had rook g1 check, and I completely brain farted that he can block with the rook. I thought he had to move the king. If he goes here, I have check, here, check, knight blocks. I thought I had mate somewhere. If he steps up, I had thought I had queen check here, but I guess I was just missing that he could block everything. But he blocks with the rook. I trade, take, and now I take with the queen. Now I jump the knight in, threatening stuff. But I'm like, oh my god, he can just take this pawn. What am I doing? I'm literally getting so angry at myself because I'm about to throw this game. Like, I knew I had the, the advantage. I knew I was winning. And I was like, bro, I just threw this game. There's no fucking way I just threw this game. He takes the pawn. My bishop's hanging. So I hit throw an intermezzo. Take the bishop with check. He takes back. Now I slide the queen back because I need to keep the queens on. He attacks it. I slide back. And now at this point, due to all my attacking, my opponent had only like 40 seconds on the clock, 30 seconds on the clock. So I'm like, oh, I just need to beat him down on time. He gives a check. I run. He gives a check. And I'm like, ah, oh, do I go back and just get fucking slaughtered? No, I'm stepping up, walking into mate and one, knight to e5 check. But my opponent, time is time is ticking. He's probably at 15 seconds at this point. He's just rushing. He takes the pawn check. I run. Check. I run. Rook check. And now I can step my king to g3. King
king to g3. But I, I'm like, king to g3, he's going to force a queen trade. I'm only going to have a knight against a rook. I low-key should have did that. Instead, I walk back, back into mate. My opponent gives a check. I block with the queen. He takes the queen. I take back. Their survival chances are still okay. He takes the pawn. I drop the knight back. He takes another pawn. So now all winning chances for me are done. They're done. All I'm hoping for is a draw. Basically, his time to run out and me to get a win because I would have got the win, but I have insufficient material with just the knight. So I step my king up. He starts throwing the pawns. Here, he literally has like four seconds at this point. I take the pawn. He's just running. Take another pawn. Check. I'm just trying to win all the pieces I can. And in this position, okay, it's not exactly this position because at the end of the game, he traded off the rook for the knight. I won this pawn. He just had this knight and this pawn. And my king was over here. And I was going to win this pawn. But time ran out. But the reason the the end position on the computer doesn't really match it is because when I was playing it, my whole body was fucking covering the board because I was just like spamming moves, spamming moves. But we got to go to game review because everything's correct up until that end game, which I mean, is still somewhat correct. But let's go. Let's go here. This is what I needed to play. Pawn takes. He castles. Just queen g3. Queen g3 here is killer. What does he have? g5. En façon. Queen takes. Queen h3. Hitting the rook. I'm winning the queen. He just takes the pawn for good measure. I can take back. He still can't take because it's pinned. But if he didn't do that. Okay, queen d2. Oh, queen, queen d2 like I played. He played here. I still had e. I still had this. After this move, he takes. I have rook check. He runs. I trade the rooks. Knight takes. I can take this now. Defending the pawn. Threatening mate. He has to play king e8 just for, for what's it called. For good measure. Then I have like some checks. I can slide back hitting the rook. So honestly, I fucked myself over with the rook sack. I tried to be dangerous. I was not dangerous this game. I was I was like so focused on getting that double exclamation mark rook sack brilliance that I completely overlooked it. But we ended up getting the draw. And that's okay, man. That's okay by me. Like, comment, subscribe. Man, I'm going to show you all a clip from the game, too. So if you want to stick around to the end, like, comment, subscribe again, once again. And, man, roll the clip, man.